Google has just released a long-awaited update to Forms. The update includes adding custom images or logos to the header and page background, specifying font details, as in type, size, and color, paragraph alignment for the form text, and choosing color for the form and page backgrounds. They've also refreshed the overall Forms UI and added a brand new gallery of modern default themes. Let's go ahead and jump in and have a look at some of these changes. So from the old forms, what you'll notice that right off the top that when you opened a form previously, a theme box would pop up for you to go ahead and choose and get started. Now you can see the UI just goes directly to the form. To start picking a theme, what we can do is go up to the upper left corner. There's a button here that says change theme. Select that and you'll notice a window pops out to the right side of our screen. So now let's go ahead and have some fun. First off, if you go to the bar to the right, and scroll down you'll see that Google has updated and added a lot of new themes here. You can go ahead and select a theme and quickly peruse through whatever's been available here and see if there's something that you like or would like to change to. Now if we go back up to the top here you'll notice that if I just select the basic form underneath that you now have an option to customize. If I click on customize you'll notice it brings up all of the different things that I can go ahead and personalize to myself here. Most importantly, you can now personalize all your forms by putting a logo or something of that nature up at the very top. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that by going to header image. We'll select that and we're going to go ahead and choose image. Now you'll notice that when I click on choose image, it's going to give you a bunch of stock images here that Google has now added and you can select any of these that you'd like to select for your different forms that you'd like to do and you can pick any of those you'll see that to the left there there's all these different categories that you can select from and go through. What I'm going to do is going to go down here to the bottom where it says upload and I can upload a custom image. So now if I go to upload I get my drag image here box. I'm going to go to my training folder here and I'm just going to go ahead and select an image and I think this JPEG will look good in the background. So I'm going to select and drag, let go, it uploads it, and now puts it into the top here. Now if I don't like that what I can do is go back to change image or remove. We'll do choose image. And I'm still going to go back to upload but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my actual logo. and Let's put that in there. And there's my logo. Now my logo is kind of small but I also want it to look a little bit better and I'm going to center it. So you can see how you can customize some things here as well as you can even put something to fit to width. So now you have the option of putting that logo or the company logo up at the very top. Other things that we can do is we can go ahead and click on title and you can see that you can go ahead and change the actual font type. So where it says untitled form here I could go syncopate and you'll see it immediately changes it there. I can make it into bold text, I can make it into medium, extra large, whatever I want there. I can actually color the text if I would like and then also justify it right left or center. Same thing goes with description and the question I can change these fonts that we have here. Same thing with help text. And let's just go down here to the bottom and this is where it really gets fun is your form background. Now we can go ahead and say we want to make this a different color. So maybe we want this just a really pale red and then actually let's just go with a really pale blue color here and then page background this is where you can go ahead and upload your own image. Now I uploaded an image before and I think that'll work better as my background. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Once that's uploaded it automatically puts it into the background there and I think that looks pretty cool. Once again you have that justify choice here. Left, center, or right side and you can see with each time I do that with my picture I've got here it gives me a little bit different look which is kind of cool and I can go ahead and change that. Now one last thing I'd like to show you is I'm just going to go back up to the top here and click on back to default themes is you have an option up at the very top here of copy a theme from another form. Now what's really cool about this is if you're using a form from or a custom theme that's shared within a domain others can copy that theme in order to use it themselves. So that'll ensure a consistent look and feel across forms that are used throughout your company or domain. So that's the new update from Google Forms. Go ahead and play with it, use it, upload some of your own images and customize them to your own liking.